No existen muchos yacimientos, para empezar con esta abundancia en fósiles humanos y número de individuos, y, y no hay ninguno que tenga estas condiciones ambientales. 430.000 años con una temperatura constante entre 6 grados y 13 grados. Y los huesos embutidos en una arcilla que, que no se ha alterado, que no se ha secado nunca. Entonces, esa excepcionalidad seguramente convierta a estos, eh, estos fósiles en únicos para los estudios de, de ADN antiguo. Of course, it has been an amazing journey for us to study CIMA because we've been able to go so much further back in time than we even had dreamt ourselves a few years ago that was possible. So, and it has, of course, arose a lot of interest from around the world and from other archaeologists to think about can one go back and look at old things at other sites also. And I think the next two years we'll see many, many attempts to do that and it will be very exciting to see what comes out of it. So now that we know that there's actually DNA uh, in the bones uh, of the Cima de los Huesos Hominines, we can actually start to treat that cave like a crime scene and do the same things that um, forensic investigators would do. So we can use DNA to see what sex did they have, are they uh, females or males. Uh, we can may even be able to find out how they were related. Is this one family group?